This is Coach Kevin from Elite Performance Gym. Uh, as you know, like a lot of us, we've been working uh, at home a lot, you know, like on the computer. As you can see, this is usually kind of like my setup, what I usually like to do. We're here in our uh, extra room, you know, I have my couch. I have my pillow behind me too, but you know, at times for being on the computer for like so it's such a long time, you know, like you start getting some aches and pains. And I know a lot of our clients and members they've been asking us to come up with a video on like what can you do, you know, because every single second counts, you know, whether you're on a Zoom call, whether you're calling clients, whatever it is, too, you know, you always have to be at the computer. And then uh, taking a few minutes away from the computer can be detrimental, you know, sometimes we just don't want to do that. So I'm going to give you guys three stretches that you can just do at literally sitting down and you don't even have to do any moving at all so you know first of all throw away your, your computer and everything like that too so that uh for me i'm gonna let you guys know like i you know history of sciatica you know a lot of like lower back pain so what usually helps me out whenever i'm sitting down for like a long period of time again you can do this anywhere at a uh, chair you know if you're sitting in a plane whatever it is too you're sitting out here you're gonna cross over one leg over it like this so you're forming kind of like that 90 degree angle you're gonna take a deep breath in and you're gonna be leaning forward out here at the same time with your opposite arm, you're pushing very slightly onto that knee. You're gonna feel a really good stretch on your glute. You're gonna feel a lot of relief if you have any sciatica. So you're holding out here, deep breath in. Again, so you don't wanna be rounding your upper back too. What I always say too, take a deep breath in and then you wanna kind of bring that belly button forward, keep that back straight and chest forward as you're leaning in very slowly. Again, go at your own pace and again to go what you're able to do. Then you would switch legs from there, okay? Next stretch out over here, I would stand up again too. It's always good to kind of just get the body moving, have a feet out a little bit wider than the shoulder width. Again, you don't need to be far from your, your workstation. And all you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be reaching over your head. Your other arm is gonna come all the way down out here. So you're reaching overhead, so you're gonna feel that good stretch in your lats as well as in that back. And you're just reaching over up until you're feeling that good stretch. And again, to hold that for about, I would say, 30 to 45 seconds. And then you're going to go on to the other side, too. Again, repeat these for multiple times, too. Last stretch, I would say, a lot of people, whenever they're typing, they usually always tend to hunch over. So then they end up developing a lot of neck stiffness, a lot of neck pain. And then it's just, you know, it's not the best to have that, especially if you're typing all day and then you go to working out. You're going to see a huge uh, drop in, in your lifts. And then we get frustrated with that too. So what you can do too, again, we're going to do something called a downward dog. Usually this is performed on the floor, but you can also use a couch. You could use a chair. What you're going to be doing out over here, I'm going to move my uh, pillow out of the way. You're going to place your palms onto the couch. You're going to be about an arm's length away, which is my arm's length away. You're going to take a deep breath in at shoulder width, width apart. And you're going to push your head in all the way in between. Again, I'm pushing my palms into that couch and I'm reaching in and I'm trying to tuck in my chin as far down as I'm able to go. This, you're gonna feel instantly, you're gonna feel a lot of relief, not only in your lats, which is your muscle group that over here in your back, but you're gonna feel a lot of relief in your trap area, your neck area, every area from there. And again, so you're just holding it there and you're pushing as far as you can. Again, go at your own pace out there. Again, just keep repeating those three exercises, guys, again, because that's where most people are having a lot of pain and a lot of stiffness and a lot of tightness, again, in their legs, their back, their glutes, uh, their shoulders, their back, everywhere, too. So I would say do those. These are what I do each and every single day. And it always says, hey, every single hour, just move your body. This would really only take probably five minutes or even less than five minutes. So do it about a few times. Hold about 30 to 45 seconds, a few sets, and then you should be good.